Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mari. Welcome. In today's video, as you probably already know from the title, I'm going to be telling you guys about the time I had a nose job in TJ, which honestly wasn't even long ago, it was only six months ago. And I'll be showing you guys before and after pictures and who my doctor was, and I'm just going to share my whole experience. And I w I've been waiting to make this video for a little while because I just wanted to come on here and like... Um, make sure I'm sharing with you guys the right information and like I don't want to just recommend a doctor that didn't do such a good job But to be honest, it's been six months and my nose has been healed um, It's almost all healed up and I love my results. My nose isn't perfect But to be honest where my nose was before and what it is now and how far it's gotten is just amazing and I love my doctor he's the best absolutely I'm gonna um, link down his Instagram down below but anyways let's get into it so a little backstory before we do start off about my nose um when I was let's see how old was I, I think I was like eight nine maybe ten not even I was like when I was in second grade okay so I was probably like seven eight right I fell on my face and I messed up my nose really bad to the point where it was all like slanted and it was just really messed up and later on I when I got older um, I was having like breathing problems when I like sleep at night I'd always snore because my bone was like broken and it was like slanted so it was kind of covering um, a pathway of my breathing so I would have breathing problems even when I would run I'd like breathe really really hard through my nose I've always breathed through my mouth mostly when I was younger so when I was 13 I had a nose job and it was more a medical nose job here in San Diego at Ready Children's Hospital and the doctor there actually took out all my cartilage okay all my cartilage so my nose had no support after the nose job I was still able to breathe like I was able to breathe a lot better but my nose looked terrible I'm, i'll be inserting pictures so you guys can see what i'm saying okay like when i had no nose tip okay my nose was flat um so then that kind of became like a insecurity to me to be honest because in pictures no matter how much makeup i'd wear no matter how much i contour it it would never look nice it was just really messed up and it was slanted and it was flat and it was just terrible okay i'll be showing you guys my side pack profile though it wasn't the worst but like the front mm -mm. terrible and honestly i kind of grew insecure um because of it um but then fast forward six years i um decided that i was ready to go get a nose job i had the money i had um i was just completely ready right and i started looking into like nose job doctors and the way i did that my research was through youtube right and videos like these, like the one I'm making right now, were so helpful. They helped me so much because that helped me determine what doctor I wanted to use. Um, it kind of also showed me how much, like, how much it would cost if I was to get it done in another country. And, like, safety matters as well. So, um, these videos really helped me. That's why I'm making this one today, actually. I found a few doctors. I had two, right? One of them was in Guadalajara, and I can't remember his name, to be honest. But... Um, when I texted him on WhatsApp app, I was um, I sent him pictures of my nose and everything. He saw my skin and he was like to me, he's unable to like do my surgery without me going on Accutane for like at least six months to a year because he said that my surgery would be more um, successful if my skin was thinner because I had thick skin because I'm Middle Eastern. So I guess naturally we have thick skin. To be honest, I didn't know about this until like this situation happened when I was like looking into the doctors for my nose job and um so yeah I went on I listened to him and he was one of my top like doctors because I saw other girls on YouTube who had gotten their noses done by him and he did an amazing job right so I went to my doctor here and I got Accutane I, I went on Accutane I started doing I started taking I think um 30 mg to start off yeah, like one pill a day uh, for the first month. And uh, that started messing with my mental health so much. And it was affecting me a lot. And honestly, the first month wasn't the worst. 
and I thought it was the worst, right? Because everyone was saying it's going to get easier later on, right? Because you're going to get used to it. The breakouts will slow down. The chapped lips will kind of get a little better. You know, you'll get used to it. But no. Second month came around. I went on Accutane again. And this time they hired my dosage. And I asked them to because um, the, the higher dosage, the faster I can go through like the Accutane treatment. And I can get it done with six months, right? Because... Um, I just wanted to get my nose job done, right? So then I texted the doctor the next month. I'm like, oh, well, I've been on Accutane for a month because he told me to text him after, um, you know, my first month of Accutane. Sent him pictures of my Accutane, sent him pictures of my skin and all that. He's like, okay, well, in three months from now, once you're like halfway through your Accutane, um, text us again and we'll make an appointment for your surgery date, right? And then... Oh, we were going to have like a consultation, right? But the the way his appointments were working and his consultation, like on Zoom, were like months out. Like it was taking forever. Like it was such a slow process that I was so like fed up with it. Like I was like, no way. Because I was on Accutane. My skin was going crazy. My lips were chapped all the time. I couldn't like do a lot of things in a way because of Accutane. Um, because like my mental health and all that. And I was just getting kind of depressed and going into this like spiral, right? I was fed up with Accutane. I ended up stopping in, I think it was August or September. Yeah, I ended up stopping in like August. No, September. Yeah, I ended up stopping in September. And um, I just, I was like, that's it. I'm done with Accutane. Not to, to add to that, I was also paying for Accutane out of pocket. My insurance wasn't covering it. So I wasn't happy about that either, right? Um, I stopped Accutane and I decided to look for another doctor. And when I was looking, I stumbled upon um, Dr. Herrera, which is the doctor I ended up getting my surgery by. And I found him on, to be honest, TikTok and YouTube. Yeah, but I found him mostly on YouTube, but then I started doing more research to see his like other platforms on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and just to see like his work. And I automatically fell in love with his work. I saw all the different type of noses he had um, done like work on and the results afterwards were amazing and each nose like after his after results didn't all look the same they were all different and they were custom to the person's face which that was one thing that I really liked about this doctor because I noticed other doctors a lot of their final results all look the same and it's like I don't want to have a nose that looks like everybody else's right I want a nose that matches me and suits me and like that will suit my features um which was what I was going for because um that's just what I liked and that and Dr. Herrera stood out to me and I made I texted him and I literally made a consultation within a week of my text right I texted him on whatsapp app and I was just so like amazed with how quick they responded how open he was and I was like hmm a little skeptical because he was so open so fast but um I had to cancel the first time the first appointment actually and then I had to I rescheduled another appointment for um the Saturday after right and I really also loved that he had Saturdays um like you know he was available to see consultations on Saturdays because that was a day for me where um like I wasn't working um so yeah I ended up going in and for me, I live in San Diego, so it's like a 30 minute drive from here. Um, it wasn't too bad. I ended up crossing the border and going to my consultation. Um, I didn't go by myself. I went with my boyfriend because it's dangerous to go by yourself, okay? You just can't. You're a girl, don't do it. Go with friends, go with a group, go with someone. I went to my consultation, everything, and the when I met with him, he was so kind. He was so... He was really understanding. He looked at my nose, he touched it, he felt it, and he like, um, I don't know what else he was doing. But yeah, he, he was using this light thing, he was looking at my nose, and he was telling me what was wrong with it. He's like, well, did you, the doctor took out all your cartilage, that's why it's flat. And he was just explaining to me what my nose, what was going on with my nose. And he was being really honest about if he could do it or not, right? Which I love, because I don't like doctors that are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it don't worry you'll get the results you want like they just want your money and later on you're not gonna get your results that's like a red flag for me so I was like looking out for that and with him I didn't feel like he was just doing it for the money he was genuinely being um, like looking at my nose and seeing if he can actually do it right and he can achieve the results so he took pictures of my nose and um, 
I asked him if he was able to do it and what it would take. And he's like, well, I can't do it, but I might have to take cartilage out of either your cage or your ear, right? And I chose, I'm like, okay, that's fine. He'd take cartilage from my ear. And later on, um, we continued talking about it. And then I ended up scheduling my appointment that day, right? And my appointment um, was three weeks ahead from me. I So that was in the middle of um, October when I saw him. It was like first week of October, the first weekend. I ended up um, getting my surgery date on November 1st, which was like, I think like a day or two after Halloween or the next day after Halloween, which was crazy, right? But I was super excited and I was really happy that he had like such open availability. Um, that was like a really a plus for me. I really liked that because I was so ready to get my nose job and I was just fed up with all the waiting with the other doctor and um, yeah. So fast forward three weeks and my surgery day comes up. Um, the doctor gave me instructions like, you know, after my appointment, what to do because it was my, my appointment was in three weeks. I'll insert the picture of the list of things that I couldn't do three weeks before my surgery. Um, so I followed all that, I stopped doing anything that was on the list, and fast forward three weeks, my surgery day came, comes, and um, my surgery was at 7.15 in the morning, but I had to check in two hours before. So I um, woke up at like 4 in the morning, got ready, went to the surgery, drove over, it was only like a 30 minute I think 20, 30 minute drive, there was no line at the border and there was no traffic and nothing at all. It was still dark outside. And I, they did my vitals. The nurses were super nice and supportive. And I got to meet his assistant and like the team that was going to be doing my nose job because he had like two other people with him that were going to do or three other. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so they did my vitals. They did the anesthesia and I ended up, I think, walking to my... To the surgery room and um or i think no, no not walking i ended up sitting in a wheelchair and they like um rolled me over to the surgery room and i remember seeing so many people around me loki in like you know surgical clothes and i laid down on the table and i think they put something over my nose and i think i breathed in like two times three times and i was knocked out and then i remember waking up and being in this bed my nose is all done and I'm just there and I'm just like super nervous I remember it being super loud and I remember being super dizzy and like there was a lot of um like kind of like what do they call them beds next to me but like we're, we're blocked up it was just weird and I was kind of nervous and I was like oh well, can I see my boyfriend um this and that and later on he's like not yet we need the anesthesia to go away and make sure you're okay and then later on I went down and I went back to my room that I was in the first and I saw my boyfriend and I was just sitting there and I was literally so excited and happy I had so much energy I had more energy that day than the days after I don't know why like after the surgery I was just my adrenaline rush was up and I was like so happy got it over with and I ended up leaving the same day at like 2 actually yeah it was 2 p.m. yeah I ended up leaving and going home and um, I took a week off work fast forward a week after my surgery I ended up getting my cast taken off on Saturday and um, when they took off the cast surprising enough my nose didn't look like this okay oh and actually let me mention this part where I forgot to mention for you guys so the doctor um, gave me a prescription of medicine um, and I was able to buy it off him for like, I think $60, I don't remember how much, but yeah, I was able to buy it off him or I could take the prescription, the um, pharmacy like paper or whatever, take it to the pharmacies here and they'll give it to me, right? And I did that, right? I decided that I'm going to get it from here, from the US instead of buying it off him, right? I ended up coming back and going to the pharmacies and guess what happened, you guys? Guess what happened? The pharmacies wouldn't like give me the medicine. And these the medications that I needed were for um, like to prevent, you know, inflammation, to prevent any infections. And they were important for me and painkillers, right? They didn't give it to me. So I, that's when I started panicking, okay? And I started freaking out and started like just going into this panic mode because I was worried because I'm like there's no way I can go back to TJ that day or the days after like my boyfriend couldn't 
and it was just like this whole thing. I ended up going to an emergency um clinic. Oh, I think it was urgent care. And they actually, the doctor was literally so kind. She thought I was freaking out and she was so sweet and kind. She prescribed the medicine I needed. Um, she read the doctor's thing and she's like, don't worry, you're gonna be okay, that's fine. Like, I got you girl. And she prescribed the medicine and I ended up going to the pharmacy and picking up the painkillers. And um, I think one more med for like, um, the to, to make sure I'm not getting like a nose infection um, and yeah, it was only two pills I was on, right? Fast forward a week after that, right? I was taking my meds, went to the doctor, he took off the cast, and you guys won't believe what how my nose looked like. My nose was so swollen, like it was crazy. Like people, I saw his videos of girls taking off their cast a week within the surgery, and their nose looks amazing, okay? Mine, mm -mm. I was literally sitting there crying. It was literally this, it was the saddest thing ever. I was so sad. I was so upset. I was crying. I was like, no way. This didn't go successful. I can't believe this is the second surgery. And my nose still doesn't look like the way I want it. And like, when I tell you guys, like, I wasn't being petty. Like, it was genuinely bad. Like, especially this side, it was so swollen. And I had little stitches. I had stitches, I think, here, here, and here. And there was, like, marks of the stitches. And it was just so swollen. And it was just crazy um so the doctors noticed that and i was freaking out the doctor noticed that i was freaking out and he was like kind of shook to that i was so swollen so um he decided to give me the um a uh, shot the shot that i was supposed to buy and do it myself from him right but because i didn't in the u.s they didn't have it or something i don't know the doctor here didn't understand what shot it was or what like it was so she didn't prescribe it but when i went back um he gave me the shot and that and then he taped up my nose and then um he told me to buy what kind of, like the nose the surgical tan nose tape which i'll show you guys a picture of that as well um he told me to buy that which heads up you can't buy at any cbs at any walmart anywhere you just it's literally on amazon because i remember literally um after this i go to a bunch of bunch of like places to buy that tape and i couldn't Right, but anyway, so after he tipped up my nose, he told me to keep it taped until like four days, for four days, and then take off the tape and put it back on, and then uh, take off the tape, leave it, um, leave my nose by itself, like without tape for an hour, right? And then put the tape back on and wait till Sunday and take it off, right? He gave me this instruction. I was like, okay, I got it. I go. When I take it off on Thursday, I took it off on Thursday after this um, visit. And my nose was a lot smaller and it was down and I was so happy with how it looked actually and the, the shot that he gave me that week, yeah, that um, the time he took off my cast, helped a lot. It brought down the swelling and my nose looked amazing. I'll show you guys pictures right after um, I took off that. So I'll be inserting them here. And after that, um, when I was looking for the tape, it took me forever to find it. I ended up finding it on Amazon, ordering it, came the next day. Um, and I got it and I started taping my nose every single night and I, I'm still doing it. It's been six months and I've been still taping my nose every single night. Honestly, sometimes I do skip it here and there if I'm tired or if I feel like I want to give my nose like a breather, I will. But on days if I'm eating uh, like kind of salty foods like, I don't know, chips or it was salty, I would like tape my nose because the salt was always make my nose so inflamed. Any day I wasn't eating healthy at all actually, I would like tape my nose at night. Because I was just like, I knew the next day I'm going to wake up and my nose like a balloon. Okay, it's going to be f puffy and like swollen. So the taping has definitely been helping. Um, after that, I had no complications. I had nothing. I My nose was okay. The swelling was going down slowly. And I also noticed that my forehead here was swollen. Um, even my friends noticed. Some people thought I got Botox <laughs> in my forehead. That's why I was so swollen. I don't even know how that makes sense but it was funny i had like a lot of swelling under my under eyes after the surgery and like for literally a whole month after my, my under eyes were kind of yellow and there was bruising for a whole month after um but it ended up slowly going away i remember i used a lot of arnica which was my like the best arnica helped with the swelling so much i would take the pills i, I used the cream for the first week like he recommended and then he told me to stop using the cream so I stopped but I was still taking the little tablets 
Arnica tablets. And I was also drinking the tea like two to three times a day. Arnica tea every other day. Every day actually, not even every other day. Um, and I was just like at it. And I remember I cut off salt salty foods for a whole two months like I would eat very healthy sometimes like here and there I, I would have like cheat days but they weren't even that bad they were just like if I was going out somewhere then yeah I'll eat normal because it's hard to like you know monitor how much salt you eat when you're going out because like you're not cooking the food it's like being cooked you know what I mean so um yeah but I remember going on a very strict diet because I really wanted the results and I was really scared that my nose wouldn't you know turn out the way I wanted it but to be honest I'm literally obsessed with it I love my nose like you guys look how pretty it is I love this side profile even the front profile you guys can see it. like I have a tip before I didn't like you'll see in the pictures like my tip was literally flat like there was no like sport but like look at it even from the top you know it's not the most perfect nose right but I love it. For me, it fits my face and it like it's literally absolutely perfect. I love it. Um, the stitching here is honestly healed up. The scar doesn't show that much. Like I feel like you can see if you look super up close, but um, it doesn't show. And also, I think I forgot to mention, but the doctor ended up taking um like a little part of my rib cage <laughs> instead of my ear for the cartilage yeah he took cartilage from my rib cage instead of my ear for cartilage because um i had no cartilage in my nose and i needed a lot more than what my ear has you know so that ended up that's what ended up happening and he told me that i was going to be uncomfortable breathing um during the first week after because of the removal of the cartilage but to be honest i had no problem breathing but i think it was because I accidentally didn't read the um, directions on the painkillers, right? And I thought I had to take two painkillers every day. And I was supposed to take them as needed or once a day. So I was like, for the first week, I was taking two painkillers every day. Every single one in the morning, one at night. So I was just super numb. And I realized that whenever I would pinch myself, I wouldn't feel it. You know, and it was like, I was like, hmm, that's odd. Let me look at my meds. And then I checked my meds and then boom, I was just, I was overdosing kind of on painkillers but i end up being okay my liver is fine i'm okay i'm healthy so yeah don't make that mistake make sure you read your meds and take them as you know it says because it's for your own good <laughs> and for your own liver's good um but that would be um uh, my experience with my nose job anyways my camera's about to die so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps because I know videos like these definitely help me. I'll link everything down below. My doctor's name, the hospital place. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you. Bye.